Welcome, our, our hello from uh, uh, PDAC, Matt, Tom Paragoodoff, Apollo Silver Corp. Uh, we're uh, U.S. Precious Metal Story, advancing our Calico Silver resource down in uh, San Bernardino County, California. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. We thought we'd um, touch base and, uh, you know, get the message out uh, loud and wide and far and wide um, to the investor audience here. A little bit nervous about the market at the moment. Uh, markets are off. It's tough. I'm not going to ask you your opinion about the market. What I want to understand is what are you going to do about it? Sure. Look at... Um I think that, uh, you know, there's no doubt that there's a lot of volatility in the market. And as you say, there's no point in us sort of, of, of flogging that horse. Everybody is aware of it. What I do think is important for investors to understand is to have a look at the, their portfolio, have a look at the stories out there and continue to, to look at this market as an opportunity to get some uh, uh, additional exposure to some great stories that are really on sale. You know what's a great story? It's a it's a well funded story that's it, that clear, simple. That management is executing, doing what they said they do, and 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 pushing forward. Um, you know I, the example of Apollo. Uh, you know Jupiter, who I know you're very familiar with, large UK precious metal fund, just recently filed on Cedar. They've been buying uh, uh, my shares in the market. Uh, they've recently picked up a total of about 5.8 million shares and now are an 11% shareholder. You know, I think uh, it, it, the smart money is going to find opportunity in the current market. So what, what, are, you, what are you saying to retail investors? Um, that this is now a institutional story or are you saying follow their lead? I mean, what, what, what's the message? I'm saying, saying follow their lead. I think that what you're seeing coming out of Jupiter is, is a great example of being a bit contrarian, but at the same time, providing some fantastic support uh, to what they believe is a sound, uh, a very sound story. Okay, but what, what, what have you said? They're already a shareholder, right? So um, wh right. What, have, what have they seen that they like? What have you said to them about what, what's coming down the line? Because like even they must be feeling, this, 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 we're not quite sure you know, where this market's going. We got to pick the right horse. So why is this the right horse for them? And why is it the right horse for anyone else looking at this story? Look, at great exposure to silver and, and, and Jupiter likes, and a lot of our investors, both retail and institution, like the pure U or the pure silver aspect uh, of the story. They like the fact that we're in the US. They're not concerned about California or San Bernardino County. They understand uh, the benefits of, of working in a stable jurisdiction like that can bring. Uh, you know, and, and I don't want to toot, well, I won't toot my horn. We've got a great team. I'm fortunate to have a great team. And it's a team that's delivering on their commitments and they're advancing. We're doing what we said we would do with the money that we've been provided by shareholders. Well, I see you've had to kind of up your game a little bit on the, on the um, with the board of directors. You've got Colette Brown Rodriguez uh, joining you. Yeah. Was that yeah. to head off any specific issues or, um, you know, help with the permitting? I mean, what, 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 what's her role? Yeah, okay, look at less about heading off any issues, more about placing our get, getting ourselves well placed to advance uh, Calico in through into that that permitting space. So you know she brings a lot of experience in that space over kind of twenty years. You know she was recently with South Thirty Two as 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 their lead uh, on environment and permitting and uh, and director of tribal affairs. Uh, you will have also seen we announced George Kinlan has joined. Uh, you know, George has been in resource development in California and specifically uh, some very uh, great experience in water management, water resource management. And uh, so he's brought on board and, you know, 15 years with San Bernardino County uh, Planning Commission in charge of uh, environmental reviews and permitting, as well as the uh, uh, implementation of SMARA, which is the 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 the, the Rhine Mine Reclamation Act, you know, a great resource for us to be able to bring on board. The, actually, the hydrology component that's that's fascinating, especially in California, because that's a way of a read out of there is the fact that you 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 you've got, you've got uh, towns and, and cities competing for water with in, industry and agriculture, uh, and I guess yeah. mining's in, in in there too. So, I mean, how big how big a appointment is that really? Ah, look, for us, it's huge because George has the ability to put together a, a, a strategy for us around water. And it's a strategy that is going to, I think, be able to stand the test of time. Because as you, you, you would be aware, you know, with the current situation down there, 
Even those water consumers with a quote unquote guaranteed access to water are getting their allotments reduced. And it's how do you plan for that moving forward? And George is just uniquely placed to help us develop a strategy to work through that. Okay, interesting. interesting. I, I might have a look at um, him and, and what, what he's done because I think, I think there's quite a few companies that are coming across that same issue but not addressing it. Um, the Well, let, let, let's talk about what you're actually doing, okay? Um, sure. Because that's what people care about in this environment. It's, well, it, I'm interested in your strategy because it, hunkering down and doing nothing is a strategy, okay? You can it do is. that. You've got capital, and but despite that, you know, you could be excused if that was a strategy. But you, you're drilling. Yeah. You could ask these coming. So yeah, can you just right. tell us a little bit about that side of stuff and what the timing is and sure. all that? Absolutely. Look, the uh, drill program, as you know, we commenced in April. Uh, I think we're about 3,000 plus meters into it. Uh, we're looking to bring a second rig on. Um, the uh, I was uh, heard from the lab recently. Uh, we're on track for uh, the initial batch of uh, assays. They said about a six-week turnaround time. And that's they received them about six weeks ago and they've confirmed that they're on track so i think we've got some news flow uh pending uh on that initial batch of silver assay results you know in addition uh our uh our met program uh well and truly kicked off we've got the uh, composites all made up and the plan is finalized and uh next week today's the 14th i think on the 23rd 24th they're going to commence our uh, phase one met metallurgical program so you know for me matt uh, you're right. Uh, I think for some groups, uh, hunkering down is a is a is a, 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 a an understandable strategy. I think you know for myself, um, I, I'm feeling that you know I'm capitalized. I'm feeling optimistic about the project. I think the results will start to speak for themselves when we get them out, and I'm feeling reasonably comfortable with where we're at. Okay, and for people kind of looking in new to this, of which there's a lot certainly on our platform joining it every, every week, um, they're looking at this thing and going, well, there's a low-grade silver project, right? So well, how do I deal with low-grade silver? Because not, not many people don't understand low-grade gold projects either, and low-grade seems to be, wow. Well, sure. Yeah. Marginal, right? It's yeah. marginal. So yeah. how, how do you assure them well, that's not? I, 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 I would take exception to the word marginal, Matt. Uh, um, you know, look at uh, look at Rochester. That would be the core operation. That's our type, uh, you know, type of operation. Uh, you know, people used to think that if you didn't have three or four percent copper, you 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 weren't going to be able to turn a buck. And of course, we all know where the majority of the world's copper comes from these days. Um, with all due respect to Robert and 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 uh, and Kamoa. Um, I think that, um, you know, when the fact that we've got a global resource at about 90 grams per ton that outcrops that is uh, on a hill, which means my strip ratio is very, very beneficial. Uh, and I think, as you'll see, if you do go through the Desjardins uh, modeling that they've done as part of their work, uh, you know, you will see that this thing is definitely uh, more than marginal. Well, that, that, that's what I think that's important for you to point out, point out a lot, because again, when people go around the market saying great is king, it's, it's easy to understand, makes sense, but you've got to explain sure. why, what projects like yours work. And, and then there are a lot of projects like with, with lower grades that work. Um, it's a, it's an yeah. engineering project, earth moving exercise, but it's, it's profitable, right? No problem with that. Right. Um, talk to me about Desjardins Dej coming on board because you got, I think you've got eight capital and you've got BSA on board already. Yeah. Now, yeah. some companies buy this stuff in or some companies get coverage because there's an expectation that funds will be raised and that's what all these guys are covering you for, right? The, the opportunity yeah. to raise capital charge fees. What, yeah. Is the situation with you, you and the the three that are covering you so far? Why are they covering you? Well, um, you look at um, ACAP Desjardins uh, were, were were leads on our fifty three million dollar financing we closed last year, uh, and there's big and, and and part of that I mean is a real commitment to the story, and this is ongoing support that they're providing. Uh, you, you, they know that my uh, treasury is strong, and they're not expecting that to change anytime soon. Uh, but they they do they 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 brought some great names in groups like Sprott groups like Jupiter etc. And uh, you know there these groups are all sort of uh, focused on making sure that the uh, the fundamentals of the story are, are are communicated by these guys. Okay, so they're they're going to help you communicate the fundamentals of this story. We've talked about some of some of them today. Um, 
what are you seeing out there? Because there's a little bit of M&A going on. We saw, obviously, in, uh, I think it was all over, you know, Gold Standard. That was announced yesterday, and we've seen a few stories last week and the week before. It, it, it's, a, it's the kind of market where... You know, some companies are being found wanting in terms of the um, their, their 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 cash constraint. They can't and or don't want to raise capital in this marketplace. The management teams are slightly fearful of operating in a market like this. Um, do you expect to see a little bit more of that? And you know, do you put yourself in that category, or or, or possibly in the case of or as an acquisitor? Uh, you, look, I hope to see more of it because um, what you know what what I don't want to see is us. Uh, you know, revert back to that situation where we see a number of uh, lifestyle t- type companies. We all know those. Um, y- y- you know, I think that um, management shouldn't be afraid of either being acquired or being an acqu- acquirer if it makes sense. Um, we've got to remove some of the you know negative aspects of that out. Um, I, I I think we should see more of it. We're at that time in the cycle. Uh, where we should start seeing, because I think you know, if there if if there's a good story and it and there's some compelling reasons why, I don't think uh, some of the uh, human issues should get in the way. Right. Okay. But we, it's it's time to shake the tree, and, and that's yeah. definitely seems to be happening. Okay. And you're not you're not fearful yeah. of that, but it sounds a bit okay. Um, give us give us a quick view of the the, the rest of this year. And again, it doesn't have to be in the context of inflation or any of that sort of stuff. I'm just talking about what do we look at? What's important to look at for you? Look, what's important to for me to look at, and I won't, you know, you you raise it, but you know, obviously, our budget's under inflationary pressure. There's no doubt about that, and we'll keep an eye on that. Um, You know, uh, uh, availability, uh, the labor numbers are, you know, out and and, uh, equipment is, I can source, uh, uh, availability of of, uh, experienced labor continues to put pressure uh, on everybody operating, not just in the US, but I think, uh, but I do think globally. So I think, you know, keep an eye, uh, keep an eye on that. Um, You know, for us, you know, obviously, we're going to continue to keep an eye on uh, some of these initiatives out of the U.S. as far as the, the continued greening of, of the economy, because silver plays uh, a role in that. And, you know, we'll want to see continued support in that to provide continued uh, demand from, uh, on, the, on the demand side for, for silver. Okay. And U.S. institutions, what are they, what, what, how busy are they? I mean, they sitting about watching. Or are they also doing what uh, some of the U.K. guys are doing and piling in? Uh, look, I think that they're still very, I think they're a bit more of a wait and see uh, at the moment. Uh, you know, we're in that time of the season where normally what, you know, sell in May go away. We've kind of entered into that part and, you know, uh, uh, with, with, with the added froth of the volatility in the market. So, you know, I think uh, July and I was like, I'm, I'm looking to September. That's really where I'm looking to, 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 to really start to see things sort of, you know, turn around and, and, and get people back into the market. I, yeah, I, th- I think let's see what Mr. Biden does to help you on that front as well. Um, Tom, look, great. I know you've got to get back to the conference, press flash, pound the streets, et cetera. So appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Excellent. Good speaking, man. Bye-bye.